Hey there, React Hunt fans! Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Mr. Mena, and today we're going to talk about something really important, providing emotional support when visiting a sick friend or relative. When you visit someone who's not feeling their best, there are a few simple yet meaningful ways to show your care and support. First, let's talk about empathy. Put yourself in their shoes. Try to understand how they might be feeling. Sometimes, all they need is someone who understands what they're going through, so be ready to offer a listening ear. Next up, positivity. Bring a smile with you. A positive attitude can work wonders. It can lift their spirits, even on tough days. Now, on to being a good listener. Put away your phone and distractions. Give them your full attention. Sometimes, just having someone to talk to can make all the difference. Another important aspect is being helpful. Offer to run errands or help with chores if needed. Small acts of kindness can go a long way in making their day a bit easier. Respect their boundaries. Understand that they might need some space or quiet time. It's important to be sensitive to their needs. In today's fast-paced world, the tradition of visiting the ill is sadly on the decline. Selfishness and preoccupation with our own lives often overshadow the importance of supporting those who are unwell. The pace of modern life, coupled with technological distractions, has made it easier to neglect the needs of the sick. This decline reflects a broader trend of diminishing moral values and a shift towards self-centeredness. However, it's crucial to remember that visiting the ill is not just about physical presence, but also a demonstration of empathy, compassion, and moral responsibility. Reviving this tradition can help us reconnect with our values and foster a more caring and empathetic society. Visiting someone who is ill is incredibly important because it demonstrates care, compassion, and emotional support during a challenging time. A visit can provide a sense of connection and remind the person that they are not alone in their struggle. It offers an opportunity to uplift their spirits, share positive moments, and simply be there to listen and understand. These visits can have a healing effect beyond medical treatments, fostering hope and resilience in the face of illness. Showing up for someone in their time of need can strengthen relationships and create lasting memories of love and support. During times of illness, it's important to remember that the frustration and discomfort of the disease can sometimes lead the ill person to exhibit rude or unusual behavior. It's crucial not to take such words or actions personally. Your presence and support during their tough times can have a profoundly positive impact, even if they don't express it immediately. Your understanding and empathy can help ease their burden, and it's essential not to be surprised or discouraged by any momentary outbursts. What matters most is that you've done your part well by being there for them and offering your care and comfort when they needed it most. If you are in a position to afford it financially, offering to pay for a portion or all of the person's medical bills, medications, or essential expenses can be an incredibly generous and impactful gesture. It demonstrates not only your emotional support, but also your willingness to alleviate the financial burden that often accompanies illness. Additionally, providing practical items like food, fruits, or relevant gifts can bring comfort and show that you care about their well-being. These acts of kindness can make a significant difference in the life of the person facing illness, reassuring them that they are not alone in their struggle and that there are people who genuinely care about their recovery. When visiting an ill person, it's essential to approach the situation with the purest of intentions. Your primary goal should be to offer support, comfort, and care, seeking blessings from a higher power, not expecting anything in return. It's crucial not to remind the person of any favors or assistance you provide repeatedly. Instead, focus on genuinely helping and being there for them without any ulterior motives. Visiting the ill with a selfless heart and a desire to earn virtues through your actions is a noble and compassionate way to offer your support during their time of need. When visiting someone who is ill, it's not only an opportunity to offer your prayers for their health, but also a moment to recognize the spiritual strength that often emerges during illness. You can kindly ask the person to pray for you as well because, during illness, it is believed by many that a person's prayers may carry a special weight, and their closeness to God's mercy is heightened. 
Sharing this mutual exchange of prayers fosters a sense of connection and reminds us of the profound spirituality that can emerge during challenging times. It's a beautiful way to uplift each other spiritually and emotionally while offering support and care. During a visit to someone who is ill, it's essential to approach the situation with utmost respect and sensitivity. Avoid burdening the person with too many questions or demands that may overwhelm their already fragile state of mind. Instead, strive to be the reason for their smile and provide comfort. Your presence should be a source of emotional support, not an additional strain on their mental and physical well-being. By showing consideration and restraint, you can make their recovery process more comfortable and demonstrate your genuine care and concern. When visiting an ill child, even the smallest gesture, like bringing along a toy or a single balloon, can work wonders in brightening their day and putting a smile on their face. These simple acts of kindness not only provide a moment of joy, but also convey your care and support, making their challenging journey a little bit easier to bear. During your visit, extend your assistance by offering specific help, such as running errands, preparing meals, or taking care of chores. This proactive support can ease the burden on the ill person and their caregivers. Respect the person's wishes and preferences regarding visitors. Some may need more solitude, while others may appreciate regular company. Always check in and adjust your visits accordingly. Pay attention to hygiene, especially if the person has a compromised immune system. Wash your hands and ensure you're not carrying any germs that could be transmitted to them. Steer clear of discussing negative or distressing subjects. Focus on positive conversations and topics that can uplift their spirits. If the person is following specific medical guidelines, respect them. This includes adhering to visiting hours, wearing any required protective gear, or refraining from bringing certain items into their space. Understand that healing takes time, and recovery can be a slow process. Be patient and continue offering your support even after the initial visit. Always express your love and care through words and gestures. Let the person know that you are there for them, no matter what. If you plan to bring food or gifts, make sure to check for any allergies or dietary restrictions the person may have. If the ill person wishes to keep friends and family informed about their condition, offer to provide updates to others. This can reduce their stress and allow them to focus on recovery. Finally, respect their personal space and boundaries. Sometimes, the ill person may need rest and solitude more than visitors, so be understanding if they request some alone time. When an ill person is in the hospital, it's crucial to respect the hospital's visiting rules and guidelines. While we understand that worry and concern can be overwhelming, it's essential to channel those emotions constructively. Instances where visitors become agitated or confrontational with hospital staff or doctors are not only unethical but also counterproductive. Such impatience and aggressive behavior not only disrupt the hospital's environment but can also harm the patient's well-being. It's essential to maintain composure, adhere to hospital policies, and communicate with healthcare professionals calmly and respectfully, ensuring that the patient receives the best care possible without unnecessary stress or conflicts. In closing, visiting an ill friend or relative is a profound act of compassion, emphasizing the importance of empathy, positivity, and sensitivity during their challenging times. Whether at home or in the hospital, adhering to respectful conduct and acknowledging the expertise of healthcare professionals ensures a smoother journey toward recovery. Lastly, if you found this video enlightening, remember that sharing it possesses the potential to be a mental tonic, enriching the minds of others with valuable knowledge. Just as a pill can bring healing to the body, sharing wisdom can illuminate the spirit, contributing to a world filled with empathy and unwavering support for those in need. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever visited a sick friend or relative? What are some ways you provided emotional support? Share your experiences and tips in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on this episode of React Tune. Remember, your support means the world to someone who's unwell. So, go out there and make those visits count. Until next time, take care and spread some positivity. This is Mr. Meta, signing off. Please like, share, and comment on video. Do not forget to subscribe channel and hit the bell icon for updates.